first question how are you doing mentally mentally i am very good y'all um of course you know there's little sad days there's not sad days sad moments i should say and you just gotta pick yourself up that's what i be doing i just be picking myself up face yeah this way better lighting um yeah i be having my sad little moments but i pick myself up i always tell myself like you got a good two days to cry like if you need to cry for two days cry for those two days and then after that pick your crown up baby so that's that's what i just keep reminding myself when i do get sad and i also be around a lot of love like i'm always with my friends they make me feel better they make me happy so yeah mentally i'm doing good um am i thinking of moving and i love you so much i love you more i'm not thinking about moving if anybody's gonna be moving out the house it's definitely not gonna be me and i'm definitely not gonna move out of houston anytime soon either so yeah um has he been trying to call you yes he actually has been trying to call me and it just started today like he called me two times earlier back to back but it's off of like fake numbers because i have his number blocked but i answer i heard his voice and i hung up and then he called back again from like a different number and i just didn't answer that time so yeah um do i still have feelings for my ex this one is a tricky one and i say that it's tricky because it's like when you really love somebody you don't just fall out of love instantly like even if they do something bad to you like there's still a part of you that fucking loves them because you miss who they were or you missed when they were treating you good or you know like it's memories a lot of memories that me and Maya have so yeah I mean I guess I could definitely say there's still some feelings there um but they're just slowly 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 going away to be honest um next how old are you? I'm 23, y'all. I'm 23. When's your birthday? My birthday is November 25th. Um, can we see your new boo? She actually doesn't want to be seen, guys. Like, even though we recorded a video yesterday, like, I was talking and she was sitting down next... What the heck? I was talking and she was, like, sitting down next to me. And I kept, like, you know, like, showing little sneak peeks. But she had her face covered. She not... She, not want to, she don't want to be seen because she don't do the social media stuff, you feel me? And at the same time, I don't want nobody in my business. Like, I don't want nobody knowing who I fuck with, none of that. Like, about my old nigga, y'all can have him because he's a whore. But about my new bitch, sorry to call you a bitch, babe. I'm not going to play about her, so I just don't even need y'all to know who she is because y'all be getting to doing too much. Um... How long does it take for you to put a fit together? Honestly, it takes a long time. Like, I need at least, at the very least, I need like an hour. That's my best friend's brother in the background. He's here with Sai Sai. But, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, I need at least like an hour, hour and a half before I go, like, to get ready. Because that's how long it takes me, like. I be looking for, like, I'll put an outfit together, and I'll have the shirt, and then I won't find the pants that I like, so then I take the shirt off, find another shirt, don't like that shirt, take it off. Like, I make such a mess every single time I get ready, because it takes me so fucking long to get ready. Um, so, yeah. There goes Mike. But, um, do you plan on redecorating your for your fresh start? Um, shit, probably, yeah, I mean, I've been wanting to redecorate, like, since even before all of this fuck shit started happening, because I just need my house to feel more like home, you know, like, when you come home, you want it to feel like that's your home, and lately, it just hasn't been that for me, I don't know if it's everything that's going on now, no, it's not, because I was just, I just said I was feeling like that before, but yeah, I just need to redecorate, like, I need everything I need new bed sheets. I need a new comforter set. I need. I want a new couch. So yeah, I'm definitely. I'm definitely gonna be redecorating. Um, what made you realize you were into girls? I honestly don't know. Like, 
I've always been like attracted to girls like I always like been like oh my god like she's so beautiful this and that like I've been looking at asses and all of that shit too but I don't know what made me realize that I would like to date them though you know like I don't know that's kind of that part is brand new to me but I've been fucking with my new bae and I really fuck with her I um so so far so good What is your new boo's name? I am not going to tell y'all that. Um, her name is Lil Rose. <laughs> um, my relationship status is single. I'm very much single um, and just dating. Like, just dating. But I'm only really focused on this one girl right now. And I just told y'all who she was. Lil Rose. Yeah, that's like who my focus is on. But we're very much single at the end of the day, you feel me? We're in the talking stage, I guess. Talking stage is so weird for me because I've been in relationships for so long, so it's like Um Do I like studs or am I still a stem? I don't think I'm gonna like categorize myself. Like I'm just me. Like I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be a stem or whatever. I'm just me. However, I dress that day. That's just how I dress that day. And that's just that. Um, but yeah, I am attracted to studs. I'm attracted to everybody. Boys, girls, studs, dykes, femmes, whatever anybody call themselves. I am open to all the options. <laughs> um. But I want to spend my future with a boy or a girl and why. I honestly don't know. Whoever I end up with, you feel me? Like, I don't have a preference whether it be a boy or a girl or any reasoning behind it. Like, if I love you and I want to spend the rest, rest, uh, excuse me. If I want to spend the rest of my life with you, then I would just do that. What is my goals before the year is over? I definitely want to get a new car needs a new car not even that i want i need a new car um what else i want to surpass 50k on this channel um i want to get back to posting on my channel rise with rose go subscribe if you haven't yet um yeah, I just want to run it up. I just want to run the fucking money up and just live my life and have fun and explore more of Texas. Like, um, you're so gorgeous and I'm happy for you. Either way, I'm going to be supporting you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a bunch. Um, do I ever want to do a meet and greet? I definitely would love to do a meet and greet. Like, if I could do one right now, I'd do it. But it's just that, like, you can't be too trustworthy in this world like there's a lot of evil and cruel people and stuff so i want to wait till i get to the point where i like i can have my own security with me and then i would do a meet and greet for sure would i take maya back despite all that's happened no once you cheat on me you're done i mean i've honestly never been cheated on that i know of like that i found out about never so, I don't know how I would feel about going back to somebody that's cheated on me. So, yeah. I say no right now, but you never know. Mm, probably no forever. I don't know. I feel like once you betray my trust, like, how am I ever going to trust you again? Like, that's going to be a tough one to come back from. Alright, I'm gonna do like two more questions, yeah. What will you and Maya do about the apartment? Um I literally don't know. We have this lease for another We 
have this lease for another, like, shit. We signed a 17-month lease, and we've been here for six months. We haven't been here. We have been here for six months? Shit, we've been here for six months. So, yeah, however many months is left after that, then. But right now, I don't know where he's been staying or who he's been staying with, but he can stay wherever the fuck he's at. But at the end of the day, his name is on the lease, so if he ends up wanting to come back, we have a whole other room, and I guess we're just going to have to dug this lease out and then move, both of us move at the end of it. And yeah. Mm. What is something you wish you never did? I wish that I never spent all my like teenage years worrying about boys, like worrying about love. Like when your parents tell you to wait and don't worry about being in a relationship and stuff, listen. Like, coming from me, please listen, because I wish that I listened to my parents when they told me that, because I spent so many years being, like, stressed out, heartbroken, crying, worried about a nigga, putting another person happiness and feelings before mine, like, and you don't get those years back. You really don't. Like, why would you want to be in a relationship through your teenage years? You're supposed to be out living life, like, so yeah, I, that's something that I wish I never did. Alright, last question and I'm done. Last question and I'm done. Did you ever feel like you and Maya would come to an end? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I thought that me and him had the whole nine together, you feel me? Like, we was gonna have the the marriage, the kids, the happy life, the traveling, the... I thought we were gonna have it all. And... That just made me emotional. <laughs> so I'm gonna end this video off right here. Um, let me know down in the comments below what y'all would like to see from me. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. If you support me, if you rocking with me, I fuck with you. Thank you so, so much. Much love to y'all. Make sure y'all comment down below what videos y'all wanna see or hit me in my DM at Rosie D, R-O-S-E-L-E-E-D-I on Instagram. And yeah, I'm going to upload this video for y'all right now, right now. Peace.